It is game number one of our final series, Secret Tier, taking on Execration. It is an elimination, the last series of the plans. The winner will advance to the group stage. The loser is out of the tournament. So, Vanguard requirement every single game, every offlaner. And, like, you don't want to pick a tiny with a most melee offlaners. I guess Darkseer is one of the few exceptions. Yeah. So we're seeing a lot of ranged fours. Oh, you know, you know, he's going to get caught by the Gale. The Blood Rite comes out. They have a Blood Grenade if they want to try and continue the chase. Avalanche is there as well. Blood Grenade comes out. And this is going to be a slow and painful death here for this Beastmaster. Great body blocks out from Puppy. His first blood will go to Chrysalis. So, you know, they might have to make it. Okay. Uh, Bob might have to move over and maybe even like help him take some of them. And yeah, he's kind of making the move over to protect. Meanwhile. Nice kill, Tom. A good rotation from Armel. This is actually giving FBZ a little bit of space, but bottom lane, Shanks get caught by another Gale. And a rupture comes out on Tatino. This is rough. If unless Bob actually manages to turn this around, he's got that lasso available. Chrysalis has to leave. Puppy. Trying to finish off Tino, and he, he will him. do it. And it's no a haste. It's a good one for Armel. Shanks? Uh, Shanks? Yeah, that is going to be very rough now as Armel just pops the haste. We'll connect with the cookie. A few auto attacks is really all you need. They're going to go for the deny, nope. but no, Armel does too much damage. We'll go ahead, put these heroes to this sleep, kisses. and get the lasso. And yeah, Mortimer Kiss is coming through. Bob, he's going to die first. Uh -huh. Oh no, that is a lot of XP for this Veto, and Armel triple? is still a quick boy. The four point scatter blast to the dome. Triple kill for Snapfire, and an amazing start for Armel. Help enough? Yeah. Just barely. No, absolutely. <laughs> Bob has lasso. I mean, they need to get this kill, it feels like. GPs are coming through. They don't have the roar, but they've got the Earth Splitter and Chrysalis. Or now he's fine. He's got a rupture to play around. He's okay. And it's a turnaround, baby. The Avalanche a toss back into a blood right as well. It's the numbers game, Ooh. and Secret's got him. I mean, they're also going to deal with like a sub, like a, probably an 18 minute or something, or 17 minute BKB Bloodseeker running at them. Fun damage. Let's get the toss, but yeah, he's going to burn down here. Don't want to have to commit the lasso. Finger death from Shanks. Nicely done, but another Atos into the blood right. The cookie does connect as well. And Bob on the Bat Rider. Whoops. Trying to get away. The rupture will be committed, though, just in case, as Chrysalis will grab that one. Shanks will survive as he makes his way under the tower. This would be Dude, insane. this would be so sick, but it's just slightly too slow. Can you imagine? He just stops and walks in. Bottom. You know. Atos. That's all you need sometimes. The avalanche. The toss. Pino cannot get out. And Armel ears up another one. Eight and zero on this mid lane snap fire. And top lane ruptures out from Chrysalis. The lasso will come out from the Bat Rider. He does have an Aegis. He has a BKB to play around. They will burn his first life. They have Chrono. And Paulus has Chrono. And there it is. The Earth Splitter. Did Chrysalis go too far forward? Or will he be able to survive? The Chain Suns are there. He is dead. That is Twice. a big mistake from Chrysalis. Yeah, they've got Catapult alive. You have Vano and Snapfire. This tower. Should eventually fall. Nice fortification, but an avalanche toss. There's Yamek with his blink finally coming through. The Atos comes out, catches the lion, and it's just a nice, easy kill there. They gotta find another one, too. Nice, nice stomp, but yeah, Armel, good good four staff plays there. Has Scatterblast as well. Other time trying to get away. There it is, the blink, though, once again. The toss back, and they get themselves a second. Both supports down now on the side of Execration. Yeah, you definitely prefer the mana drain here, but yeah. it's at least something. Yamich playing lower, on the Lower here. cooldown stomp, Follows. I suppose. Avalanche, the toss. You need the follow-up, though. And Paulus get away. He still has Chronosphere and a good stomp. They're doing a decent chunk of damage here to the Tiny. And that will be a kill. Okay, they get more. Seeker going in a little bit too far. The Atos will come through again, but there's the Chronosphere catching, too. Chrysalis here on the backside gets the Rupture, the Blood Rite. Paulus? Already out, the roar as well, but he got the BKB off this time. And Paulo's trying to time walk away, but he's still ruptured force the BKB. Chris was trying to turn the aggression on, and they get him. Armel is godlike. He's just been standing his ground this whole time. They're too far behind. Snapfire and Bloodseeker just doing way too much damage. A nice little cut, yeah. He's finally left his area. At least it's great. Like, guys, oh I'm my. on the map. He ruptured it. Okay. I mean, 250 gold, I suppose, but that's a big uh, cooldown, and you just lost Yamich. Okay. Secret starting to bleed a little bit, you know, not invulnerable. Alos looking for an opening. Puppy will just glimmer cape away. He does have another time walk in a moment. Okay, the Overseal totem is something. He, he just drops it. the chrono. He wants this kill, but Puppy is pretty tanky. We'll finally a, grab it. 50 seconds until chrono. Puppy. 
Maybe, uh... Okay, Paul's actually time walk forward. He needs to be a little bit careful. The Rupture is available. He is protected by the Aegis, and there it is. The Blink Lasso comes out. They find the Veno. The Impale as well. Nice wall drop there. How's he still alive? Dude, Puppy is still alive. He doesn't manage to get the Noxious Plague off, so... Decent fight here for uh, Execration is you do burn the Aegis, but you still have a lot more to work with. The Roar is available for Tino if he can get rain and damage. He has slowed to a crawl. FBZ, he's out of mana trying to get away from Bob. The time walk up on the high ground, and there's the Firefly. Mortimer Kiss is coming through. He gets the surge, but there it is. The Roar will finally do it. Bob tries to go for Armel, but meets the little Shredder instead. It might get another one. Yamich. Yamich. Yeah. No, st uh, no stun available for him. Nice impale into a couple of bashes, and Yamich. Will go down, dude. They're doing Execration this. is back in this game. Holy moly. I mean, this is sick stuff, really. Are they just baiting it at the moment? It looks like he is. Waiting for maybe our mouth to go Hawk into will it. scout Puppy. He will grab it. There's the nice hex out from Shang. Supports that forward. Our mouth. Oh, nice avalanche. You didn't get the BKB. Paulus will finally get it. The rupture is out, but there he is. He the gets chrono. the chrono on to two. Snapfire needs help in fast. The damage from the faceless void isn't enough. It is. It's double kill for Paulus. Great vacuum. Back to the roar is still available. Tino will finally throw a catch as the Bloodseeker as FBZ is getting burned down. Paulus is oh, way man. too strong, yeah. baby. It is an absolute disaster. Secret team wipe by Execration, and this game is looking real rough now. It, like flattens and you're like, oh, okay, I got Roche. And then it's just a cliff. Looking for the Veno. They get the stun. Bob goes in and gets the lasso and said finds the tiny. No tossbacks now. If they can find this kill, it is massive. Tino holding the roar at the moment. The Yules will come through. Armel, he's got more of his available. Batrider vacuum back. So they will just cut their losses. They will lose the bat. They didn't need to hold the base if they make that type of cool play. Oh, now they find us. him. And they actually kill him in time. He's trying. There's the first Chrono. Paulus has a second. He's got the BKB still available. The second Chrono does come out. The Crimson Guard doing a lot of work. He, he, did, he didn't pop the BKB. He's got to pop it again. Trying to finish off Armel. He's falling low. Gets the cookie away. But the damage from Paulus is still too much. The BKB is expired. He needs the help from the team. The Roar is out on the Chrysalis. He's got a refresher on Vito. The second Roar. He <laughs> lost Chrysalis. No buyback. And Paulo still survives. And it is game. secret again wiped. And it has got to be the end of the game. I don't know what you can do now. And Execration is looking for the fight, Paulos. Looking for the angle. Oh, I mean, a, de a decent wraparound from Secret here. But Tino pops the BKB. The Chrono Spirit only catches the Dark Seer. It's not that bad. But the first door comes out from Tino. He's got a second one for the Bloodseeker. It's there. They've still got the Chrono Spirit. He doesn't even have to use it. Tino. Beautiful plays from him. Ends up going down to the Snapfire, but Paulos has that second Chronosphere. He's looking for his target. He wants to get this Snapfire as Bob trying to get in range. He gets the lasso, and it's just a matter of time here before you're going to lose the Snap. And that is it. No buybacks available. Your throne is dying, by the way. Dying to creeps. Crystalis, I think he does nothing in the fight. Back, back the refresher for now. Yep. Butterfly BKB in his pockets. This guy is so incredibly farmed. Just jumps in, messing with FBZ. But I mean, this wall is going to be annoying for sure. But the evasion actually helps him a ton. Like his illusion does not hit him. Combine that with backtrack percent. Okay, he gets the chrono. He finds a snapfire. The Yules though, he didn't BKB, so this is going to actually just allow them to survive this first uh, oh. chrono quite a bit. The lasso comes back. They get the dark seer. A little bit of a disconnected fight here from Execration, but they've got the numbers still. They have a lot more tools in the bag here. No one died on secret. That is like best. Okay, puppy may have died. Puppy's dead. Hey, Paulus is walking back. in the base though. With, he's not taking any damage. <laughs> they have to yeah, just watch he, the void. He just backtracked and he literally took zero damage from Little Shredder. He backtracked and evaded every single one. He's got the chrono. He's gonna use it, I'm sure, in not too long. As they're focusing on this last lane of barracks here. He wants to get his eyes on Chrysalis. He's gonna pop the okay. That is a dead lion. Paulos able to time walk away. They pop the BKB and the ruptures. We'll buy back now on the lion. Oh, they found Armel. Wait a minute. He needs to be careful. Paulos is so deep in the base, but the time walks on forward. There it is. The lasso grabs the snapfire, and he is the day gone to death. Oh my god. They That's can't a classic. Paulos. Like, Paulos is just standing in front of them, just kind of taunting them. The rest of the team doing whatever they want. 
And will he finally do it? He does. Let's well, the Chrono Rip. Another <laughs> Yule is coming out from Yamit. Beautifully done, but a counter roar. Another Dagon. Wow. That is it, baby. The DGs come out and Execration with one of the most ridiculous comebacks I have seen in a long time. That was sick. Just a Roche is all it takes. It seems a Roche and a couple of good team fights, and that's kind of it. Well, we're going to jump into game number two. Again, for those of you who are just tuning in, it is Execration versus Team Secret. Oh my god. They're both oh, just looking at this. <laughs> but one of these two is going to die in a second. Dude, here. if he gets the bash, Paulus is dead. There's a charge. He's forced to pop all the chain stuff, but there it is. The one plus the Lotus. It's enough because Scatterblast actually misses. Oh, the sleep into the blood, right? Yamich. I think the wand off too, so has a survivability. Now they're making the move up top. Bob's making okay. it. Okay. I mean, you know, doesn't have insatiable hunger, but they've trapped the Naga in place for the moment. The telekinesis back and in comes the Elder Titan. He just needs one attack, but the Echo from Armel dunks him down. Tino does get, to get some attacks off. Um, He's looking good, but oh my gosh, Puck gets caught. FBZ on the charge. Nicely done. And unfortunately for him, he's got no spiders there. He's got the Kobold. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no he spiders. thought there was an army. Oh no, Armel. He's going to pop the shield and try and keep you on out, but a stolen fissure. Oh no. Yep. It was only a matter of time. And oh. Armel is going to go down. Both content with farming. Maybe Execration's slightly happier when they're able to sit back. Oh, they caught the brute. Does he black hole this? And they'll just commit the Mortimer Kisses, and the charge in from FPZ should be enough. So, oh. well played. The black hole onto the spiders as they are about to kill him. So, that is something. Do they get the? Do they get out? That's the question now. Execration, they're looking to kind of sandwich the Ward will here. scout. So, you get the blink out on the Shaker. Yamich might not be as lucky as the puck is here. Put him to sleep, the orb will come through. Earth Splitter off the mark, but I, I feel like this... This is awkward. You really... Far, they blinked far away. They, they know that the heroes are coming back, and Armel grabs Shank, double enchant, totem for the kill. The charge out from FBZ catches the Elder Titan. They end up cleaning up big. How this ET is so poor. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Up. Oh, that was nice. I just had a lot there. It does get the arcane rune, but the chain stuns anyway. He's dead. Oh no. Tino trying to chase down Yamaka on the backside. We'll catch him as a nice rupture comes through from Paulus as well. Holding down this Earthshaker, but he is tank. EKB going to come through. They're trying to get this ET. Armel will fall. FBZ trying to run away, but Chrysalis is here. We get the ensnare, but the BKB still protecting him from now. Tino will be forced to pop his own as Chrysalis now on the run. Shanks has a stolen charge. Okay. Pretty decent. Not one. bad. Earth Splitter comes through. Dabs FBZ. Nice more kisses from Yamich, but. Yeah, similar stuff so far. Easy. Uh oh. That's He's a rupture and a dust. He does have the bulldoze. I mean, Armel could turn. He just instantly BKBs. He does not want to get caught here. They actually managed to catch Puppy, and Earth Spinner does come through. He could go for the Black Hole, but Shanks is waiting. He knows if you throw this... Oh, Ooh. instead, Ormel dunks him, and the Black Hole's gonna come out now. You have caught Tino on the backside. His BKB is available. Does have a stage of hunger. A nice coil on the four. Tino might be able to turn this. He's pretty tanky for the moment, looking for his opening. They managed to do well, and Palos, he's back. Oh he's all God. falling on the side of Secret. A nice song here will allow them to just disengage, but... What a turnaround! And Puppy, Bob's not done. Oh, he finds him. Puppy, the Glimmer Cape. He thought he'd get out, but nope. Bob will continue the chase into the trees. He goes. He's thirsted. Yeah, he's thirsted. Can't he hide. can't escape. And Gossamer Cape does not protect you against Witchblade. Beautiful there to let this yeah. blood seeker get in. Palos, it's like a four hero blood right, and just completely reheals back to full. Uh, and Paulus is in pretty deep here. Needs to be careful. There's going to be the ensnare. Uh, Bob is somewhat close, but Bloodseeker cookie. is falling super low. The cookie off the mark. Paulus just sidesteps it, and now Armel, he's looking for his opening. Might not find it. Ursula is still pretty strong here on the front side. Telekinesis, he's trying to bring spring him down with the illusions and might be able to scatterblast both directions. FBZ takes down the Elder Titan. Another cookie off the mark. Shanks gets it himself. He's trying to just hobble away, but finally will fall behind the tower to grab the tier one as well. Good persistence from Secret. Crystal's not understanding his power this time on the Naga. They just, I guess they also just have no yeah, idea where the rest of them are. Okay, that's a nice kill if they can finish him off. The silence is there. The BKB out from Tino, the cookie away. Does he have the damage? It looks like he should. Tino grabs the kill. Charge on the backside, will connect onto the Bloodseeker, but actually okay Silicon. for the moment, thanks to the song. 
Alos will get caught from the Nether Strike, does have his own BKB. Bob searching on the backside, trying to find Armel. The Echo connects, he just gets popped. There's gonna be the Rupture onto the Earthshaker, but Bloodseeker taking a ton of damage here from Chrysalis, tries to pop his BKB, chase down Yamich, gets the kill, gets a lot of health back as well. Puck is back into this game off the buyback. He's trying to get active. Another charge is just gonna clip him on the backside. The Coil will connect onto the Spear Breaker, but the Bulldoze absorbing a lot of this cooldown, but FBZ might eventually fall here. Armel pops the Rubik, but he is Palos. in really deep himself. Paulos, he's caught. Beautiful plays from him, but Armel not be able to make it out. Tino doing some heavy lifting on the Broodmother this fight, and this now you're all alone on Chrysalis. Hey, Tino's doing all the damage in the world. Yeah, okay. Enigma coming back with Black Hole. They will scout the TP, they, they scout the TP actually. He gets the silence. Enigma not be able to help him here for a moment. BT trying to just go and hold this Broodmother down. He is just tanking up so much here with the Insatiable Hunger, but Chrysalis is doing pretty good work. And there it is, Black the Black Hole. The Silence will come through to help him, but it's not fast enough. It's going to be Secret finding the big fights here as now Elder Titan will fall. Double kill for the Naga Siren, and Bob has to run. That does give, a li I would say, maybe some signs of, of hope for the side of Execration. Like, they take that fight into the Aegis, and it didn't look that bad. It looked pretty decent, and... You know, depending on the itemization, if, if this Broodmother can get some more farm, like, it'd be a pretty substantial hero this game. He's queued up the Nullifier. He's tired of Puppy in this freaking uh, Glimmer Cape bottom lane. They catch the puck once again. And bash after bash. Oh, my lord. FBZ stops that. A lot of spells just committed here. EKBs are still available for the side of the Execration. It looks like You've he gotta wanted, address his high ground. It looks like he wanted to try to like commit onto Chrysalis on the high ground, but wasn't oh, able what to a, the case. What a timing on that stomp, but I don't know if you can get out of here on the ET. He's just gonna get chain stunned up. FBZ falling low. The chase continues, but he's just so fast. And now Tino has to turn around and run. Another ensnare, the jump in from Armel, but a great fissure from Shanks to buy maybe a little bit of space. But the echo, never mind, Armel. Not letting them get out of town. Can't actually commit for it for any kill. Secret. Oh, FBZ with the charge. This is a 2,000 MS. The Nether Strike to follow the chain stuns are there. 69 seconds without your Blood Seeker, without a buyback, you will lose this mid lane of Barracks. Luckily, they have their tier twos, but it's not hard for there. FBZ to clear the waves. Yeah, they can just walk right there. They're all they're awful healthy. Everyone's super healthy. The Roche, like they know it's not up. Hopefully maybe to find something back there. Paulos will oh, find oh. Armel. They have the stolen fissure, but he's you, you gotta find more. You, yeah, he's protected by the Lincolns. Aeon just will pop on Shank, but a nice charge through from FBZ. They have some catching the blood seeker. The black hole's there. He is dead. Shanks has his own black hole, but never gets a chance to use it. And it's just gonna be the Elder Titan on the run. The catch is just too easy. That should be the final one, and even bottom Bob. This is not easy to get away from. This hero is so, so annoying. At the base, Tino will pop the BKB, Insatiable Hunger, try and just chase down Puppy, but again, the Lotus, he's just so tanky. Way too strong. Rupture, Rupture will come out. I mean, that's nice. Song of the Siren, though, for the reset. And Bloodseeker he does have a BKB to play around, but another strike is available from FPZ and Paulos. I don't know how you get out of this one. Oh, the echo, <laughs> baby, you don't. <laughs> that's the answer. The GG will fall, and Secret side the series 1-1. One, one. Very cool. And it, I mean, with a similar strat that they did a month ago, I guess, right? The Earthshaker mid, they did it with Mage. When he was playing for them, it worked. Oh, wow, they, they actually the do go back for the monkey. I mean, it was possible for the Slark monkey thing. I just didn't know if it was actually going to happen. Oh, yeah, there it is. The cookie on forward. The blood grenade comes through. And FBZ trying to finish off the kill onto the Jakiro. He actually will grab it on Yamich. FBZ. Top again. Solo killing Paulus potentially. He's looking for his third Jingu. He's going to get it, but the boundless strike, it has to connect. It's still not much healing at all. And the cookie on four, just for good measure. Yamich getting ran down here from the Jakiro. Will find at least a trade, but this it's, Monkey King is having a rough game. It's level one Jingu, so it does next to nothing. 20% life steal is not going to do anything. Can he actually clean up with PZ? He's got the Lotus. He should be fine. Yeah. And the, the game overall, it's not the easiest for Monkey King. Lots of yeah. damage, tons of ways to burst him, tons of ways to cut his tree. We're looking for Armel mid. The Blood Grenade comes out as well. Do they have the damage to finish him off? He needs another Meld Strike. He gets the Timber Chain away. One more auto attack. Bob does grab it. So nice pick off there, but he's on the run. Can he get away? It's, 
Oh, I mean, nope. Mortimer Kiss is going to make that pretty dang difficult now, unless he can dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. But yeah, this Dark's here not really enabled, for sure. Nope. And, it, you know, kind of one of the things Secret maybe have planned, letting it through the draft this time. And top lane, Pino is going to get found. There's the rupture. Plenty of damage here for him. And they would definitely be right on that call. Yeah, Mitch. Yeah, Mitch is in a positioned really well for this, but he will get scouted. Ice Path not going to connect, but the blink comes out from Bob. Even the macro, huh? Shanks actually only steals Little Shredder, so that's a good heads-up play there. Puppy's not done. <laughs> Puppy is chasing. He knows he's got to be here somewhere. Does get some vision, but can he actually grab the Blood Grenade? No way. This guy, absolute big play. Nice. Wukong's command Puppy's holds dead. Puppy in place. He gets the Jingu. Okay, wait a minute. Shanks is showing up now. Armel needs to be careful. He's going to steal the Chakra, but goodbye. Monkey King just evaporated by this Timber Saw. We'll be able to get away here. It doesn't look like there's going to be anyone else. And with the FPZ showing up now, it's going to be a lot of damage. The lasso comes through. Shanks might end up dropping any will. Armel with a double kill on the Timber Saw. Well, it looks like they it. might just settle for the Jakiro instead. I guess okay, Rupture's he's over. He's got a haste, actually. Don't cut the tree, Palos. Careful. Oh. FPZ. Is he going to get this skill on the Palos? Puppy will go down. Palos needs to be careful. A nice Guardian Greaves there, but... The vacuum just pulls Yamich in for the scatter blast instead. Here comes Chrysalis. And Chrysalis is super fast. FPZ trying to get away. Looks like he will survive for the moment. Nice dual breath. Eld Strike almost takes down Chrysalis. A super chaotic fight from both teams. Is how Shanks trying to show up? I'm impressed that he's made that recovery. I mean, he's level 11 too. Like he, yeah. he's he's okay. Oh. Like his game isn't completely dumpstered. Lasso bottom. We'll find the dark seer. Trying to get nice away, cookie. cookie will connect. Bob, there's the Gossamer Cape effect. That completely whips on the first Melt Strike. Dino drops the wall, trying to get away here. The Rupture will come through. Another dodged attack. Dude, he actually is just missing everything on the FPZ. Stolen Rupture? Counter Rupture? Okay, that's pretty big. But Chris was protected by the BKB, and the Mortimer Kiss is just getting a, a lot of damage done here. Paul's it Wukong's command. Found the strike onto two. You don't miss this one. They just blow up that Batrider, and Armel needs to get out of here. They did buyback on the Rubik as well. Mr. Chain up onto the high ground. They want more blood. Bob is strong. He's got this shield rune. Alos jumps in. Ends up getting the Jingu. Jump onto the high ground. Gets the puppy. And he is gone. Armel will clean up Palos once again. Timber chain after timber chain. Oh, nice. One after the other. Trying to chase after them. But is Rubik going to keep going? He might. He has no more. No more. I imagine Tino queues up Blink next, right? If you're playing with with Jakiro, usually that's like what you want to go for after your auras. So we'll see if he does off to that. That's a nice Ooh, path. Okay, that's pretty good. The question is if they can keep him in there. Here's FBZ. Oh, the lasso from FBZ managed to find the Rubik, and he is just instantly dead. The back wall onto three. Where's the follow up though? Allos not there. Ice path was on the cooldown. Um, Courier just killed Armel's entire Agonims. Or sorry, the power glyph. Okay, well that's pretty good. And they fight off of that though. Alos, he's hiding in the trees here. Bob goes in, trying to get on top of the Bloodseeker. He gets him. That's the first life pause with the Wukong's command. Looking for Puppy. The balance strike is there. They're able to hold him down. Mortimer kisses. He's going to prop the Fusion Field to try and survive with the BKB response from Paulus. They actually get the upper hand here as Chrysalis BKB is about to expire. He needs some help and fast. It's just going to be Armel on the backside trying to do some work. But Bob, he's held his BKB the whole time. Alos. Gotta be careful here, FPZ, he stacked up so many of these napalms. And Tino got his boys out of dodge, but it's gonna cost him his own life. And, and FPZ, he's got up. a lasso again! <laughs> okay, secret, patient play paying off. You're looking for another fight? They get the Lots silence, Malastrike comes out, but again, he's got that Ghost Scepter looking for Chrysalis here on the Bloodseeker. I mean, it's a ton of damage. He needs help and fast. The de It's gonna be there. Oh, Hello, Snipes and Bob is dead though, as he gets ruptured up, burned down by FPZ on the Batrider, and it costs them a second death. And FPZ just zoning away the darks here by himself down bottom. That was cool. Hope he knows. He's like, they've got to be here somewhere, guys. Like, what, what are they going to do? There's the Blink Lasso. Finds the Darkseer. No real follow-up quite yet. As the back wall will come out. The Ice Path Macrofire. I mean, that's the combo, but where's the rest of the damage? Puppy just glimmer capes and walks away. Paulos is going to go in with a BKB. He's got Wukong's command, but he's just going to try and take down Puppy. Gets him finally. Yamich on the run. The, the What is that? The, the Harpoon? That's the item. He just TPs under a Glimmer Cape. Unreal. He's actually alive. Protect this Monkey King. 
the hero is in a rough spot right now. I think he is accepting the fact that he is probably dead. <laughs> All right, tier two bot falls as well. They still have the mid uh, tier two, but it looks like Secret are ready to push the high ground. We got Aegis, so I'm gonna force them back to base at the least. I mean, they're not answering this. Close no location. Yeah, as responsible, keep the creep wave alive, so that's quite nice. Okay. Palos has nullifier. I mean, this if it's any fight, this is it. Oh, uh, the lasso's caught the TA. The wars party, the vacuum is there, and he is dead. He has the buyback. Nice Wukong command catches for big freezing field from Puppy as Palos is dead as well. He does not have buyback, trying to help out here. Chrysalis takes a lot of damage from Shanks. His own freezing Frozen field is doing some work. Bob, he gets the BKB, but they will finally manage to take down that Rubik. Every buyback expended from the side of Execration. The question is, can they get more? It has been a very costly defense. I don't see them quite yet. Smoke, the silence comes Stop. out. There it is. The blink lasso immediately catches Bob. A, lot, a really nice Wukong command, but Bob gets the BKB up. Trying to stand his ground against Chrysalis. It's not there. That's going to be the dieback. Puppy with a freezing build onto the side. Traps the Dark Seer as well. Three heroes make it four. About to be a fifth as Chrysalis on his Bloodseeker will clean up this game and a beautiful performance from Secret. Very clean. Mess up that they did in the first game. They come back strong in these next two.